The sun blazed high up in the sky as Ava stepped out of her chauffeured car. Dressed in her power suit and armed with her designer handbag, she made her way through the bustling city streets. Ava was a successful businesswoman, the CEO of a multinational corporation. She had wealth, power, and everything money could buy. But lately, she had started feeling suffocated by the monotonous routine of her luxurious life. Today, however, something felt different. A spontaneous wave of rebellion had surged through her, urging her to escape the golden cage she had built for herself. With a determined stride, she walked away from the towering skyscrapers and ventured into the vibrant heart of the city. As she strolled, Ava's eyes caught sight of a scruffy figure sitting on a street corner, a paint brewer's in hand, skillfully bringing life to a blank canvas. Her curiosity piqued, she approached the homeless artist. Excuse me, Ava said tentatively, may I ask what you're painting? The artist looked up, a spark of surprise lighting up his tired eyes. Ah, just the beauty of this city, miss. It's my way of expressing the things I see that most people pass by. Ava glanced at the vivid strokes of color, the intricate details capturing the essence of the city in a way she had never seen before. You have a remarkable talent, she remarked sincerely. The artist smiled gratefully. Thank you, miss. It's all I have left. They soon fell into easy conversation, talking about life, dreams, and the pursuit of happiness. The artist, named Luca, shared stories of his humble beginnings as a struggling art student, while Ava recounted the pressure and emptiness of her corporate world. They connected on a level that surpassed their apparent differences. An idea began to form in Ava's mind. Luca, would you like to switch places with me for a day? Experience the luxurious life I lead, and in return, I'll experience life as an artist. Luca hesitated for a moment, staring into Ava's earnest eyes. All right, let's do it. And so, the two embarked on their exchange. Ava stepped into Luca's ragged clothes and set up a makeshift studio on the corner. Luca, on the other hand, donned a tailor-made suit and experienced the extravagance of Ava's lifestyle. As the day unfolded, Ava noticed something remarkable. While the corporate world had shielded her from the raw beauty of life, Luca's perspective as an artist illuminated the ordinary. He saw the city in vibrant colors, finding inspiration even in the cracks of the pavement. Ava marveled at the richness of the world she had overlooked, consumed by her pursuit of success. Meanwhile, for Luca, the day in Ava's shoes revealed the burden that came with wealth and power, the constant need to maintain appearances, the isolation, and the superficiality of it all left him feeling empty. When they met again at sunset, their eyes met, and understanding passed between them. They had both discovered the truth about their lives the contrasting perspectives on success and happiness. As dusk settled over the city, Ava and Luca bid each other farewell but their unexpected encounter had left an indelible mark on their hearts. Ava returned to her corporate life, but with a newfound appreciation for simplicity, art, and the true meaning of happiness. She started supporting struggling artists, using her wealth to create opportunities for them to flourish. Luca, inspired by their exchange, decided to open an art center for homeless individuals, providing them a space to express themselves and find solace in their craft. As time passed, the paths of Ava and Luca crossed again. The day of fortune, as they called it, had changed their lives forever. They had grown into individuals who understood that true success lay in finding balance, embracing passion, and connecting with others on a deeper level. In the end, it was the homeless artist who had taught the wealthy businesswoman that there was more to life than money and power and in the process, they had both found their own forms of fulfillment that went beyond what they had ever imagined.